In this video, you'll see how to set up repeatable SAP HANA deployments using AWS Launch Wizard and AWS Service Catalog. With AWS Launch Wizard for SAP, you can configure complex installations quickly and automatically generate Service Catalog products based on your configurations. You can then enable end users to deploy these SAP HANA products consistently and securely through Service Catalog. To get started, let's navigate to Launch Wizard and walk through the steps to create an SAP deployment. Launch Wizard displays the AWS Identity and Access Management IAM, roles required for it to access other AWS services on your behalf. On the Define Infrastructure page, we'll provide a name and description for our SAP deployment. Next, we'll confirm that the checkbox is selected to export AWS CloudFormation templates and create a service catalog product for this deployment. We'll specify the Amazon Simple Storage Service, Amazon S3, bucket in our account where we want to store the CloudFormation templates and configuration files. Next, we'll provide a name to identify the configuration. Let's deploy into a non-production environment. Because this is a new configuration, we'll need to specify a key pair, a VPC, and the associated availability zones and subnets. We'll verify outbound internet connectivity. Let's allow Launch Wizard to create new security groups for our deployment and specify the value of the IP addresses required to access the SAP system. We'll provide a time zone for the server, disable EBS encryption, and move on to the next step of the wizard. We'll choose SAP HANA as our application type. We'll retain the default settings for the HANA system ID, instance number, and EBS volume type. Let's provide an S3 bucket location for the SAP HANA software files. This bucket name must include the prefix Launch Wizard. Next, we'll provide a password for the SAP HANA installation. For our purposes, let's deselect the option to install AWS Backend Agent. This will be a single instance deployment. To configure the deployment model, we must have an Amazon Machine Image, AMI. For our purposes, we'll use an AWS Marketplace-based image that we've already subscribed to. We'll retain the default host name, private IP address assignment, and instance sizing settings. The wizard provides an estimated cost breakdown of instances and storage using this configuration. Now let's review the settings and proceed with the deployment. Our SAP HANA database deployment is completed. Let's head to our SAP deployments. From the deployments screen, we can access the service catalog product created by Launch Wizard by going to the Actions menu. Here, we can review the product details and the product version. AWS Launch Wizard Products is a default portfolio created by Launch Wizard. It contains the SAP HANA product configuration we just created. It's highly advised for users to create launch constraints. For more information on this topic, please refer to the online documentation shown here. You'll find links to this documentation in the description field for this video. Here, we can view and manage the IAM users, groups, and or roles that have access to it. For our purposes, the product configuration is complete. Let's switch to the perspective of the engineer user. From Service Catalog, the user can launch the SAP HANA product. During our first deployment, many parameters had to be entered. Now, when users launch this Service Catalog product to provision a HANA database, they only need to enter a few parameters, such as the product name, database password, and HANA host name and system ID. This saves the engineer user significant time and effort. Now that we've launched the product, Let's go to the EC2 Management Console to see the SAP HANA instance that was installed. Here's the instance that was provisioned. Let's connect to it. We'll search our running processes to make sure that HANA has been deployed successfully. 
As you can see, various HANA database services are currently running on this instance. You've just seen how to set up repeatable SAP HANA deployments using AWS Launch Wizard and AWS Service Catalog. You can learn more about this topic in the description and links for this video. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.